So Moxie Heist is just around the corner and you're going to want to know what weapons to use when the event goes live on the 19th. Today we're going to tell you guys what are the best weapons to use for the Moxie Heist. Asifel, this is Laserboard and welcome to today's video guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best weapons you could use for the Moxie Heist which is releasing December 19th so we're about three days away from the actual release date and I'm going to be telling you guys what are the best weapons to use for the event and also diving in deep on also what gear you guys should be using and how you should be pairing it and faring very well against the enemies. Now all the weapons I'm going to be mentioning are not for a specific character. All characters perform extremely well with either of the weapons that I'm going to mention with almost all the weapons that I'm going to mention. In addition to that if you have the proper build these things are just going to be a monster. So Let's get started with everybody's favorite hand cannon, and that is the Maggie. The Maggie, by far, is going to be fundamental for you guys, especially if you have it with the proper build. Not only that, but you're also going to want to make sure you pay attention to specific anointments that are going to be extremely powerful and make weapons just, just stand out. So, one of the biggest things you're going to want to make sure you look for when it comes to anointment is anything that increases your damage for example if you're running Amara and you want to do after face slam after face grasp those really have really high damage you have 150 I believe it's 150 and another one that goes up to 300 so that's really good damage since you're able to spam your super very often this is going to be very beneficial for you guys if you're running a specific character like for example Sane one that's extremely powerful is while Sentinels active gain 50% damage as bonus cryo damage Cry damage is going to be fundamental for this particular uh, kind of DLC because we are going to be dealing with a lot of shields, a lot of armor, and also a lot of red bars. And in general, cryo damage is really effective against shock and against armor. So you're going to have a juicy when it comes to actually getting this one. So I want to recommend the Maggie for you guys. Definitely do go ahead and consider getting one if you don't have one already. Just make sure you have the proper anointment. If you have the proper anointment, you shouldn't have a problem. The next weapon I want to recommend is the Night Hawken. Now, the Night Hawken is an SMG. Works extremely well with every single character. And this one's cool because it's coming with cryo efficiency. And once again, a lot of shock, a lot of armor being within the Moxie Heist. And uh, cryo is going to be your number one to go to especially for knocking down those uh, shields and also that armor. You are going to be dealing with red bars, but that's why you have your Maggie to counterpart that. But either than that, the Night Hawken is a really good weapon. Once again, look for anointments that buff your damage and or help you out whenever you exit Iron Bear, whenever something's active. Anything that buffs your damage or improves the cryo efficiency damage is what you should go with with the Night Hawken. The next weapon I want to recommend is the Redistributor. Now, this is actually a really good weapon. It's one of the brand new weapons that are, was part of the Maliwang Raid. And this weapon is extremely powerful due to the fact that after every seven bullets, you get a chance to ricochet and chain enemies. It's going to be very fundamental for crowd control. There is going to be a ton of enemies that are going to be coming at you with the same amount of shield. So I would look for something here that comes with a corrosive uh, because this is going to help you get rid of those yellow bars really, really fast. And it's going to allow you to chain that. So if there's multiple enemies, you'll be able to focus on one and also be bringing down the health of others around you. Once again, I would look for something that's anointed in this weapon as well. Anything that buffs cryo damage, anything that buffs damage in general, you guys should be good to go with this weapon. The next weapon I want to recommend, of course, is one of my favorites, which is the Cutsman. The Cutsman is by far one of the best weapons currently in the game. Not only that, guys, but this weapon is going to be doing a ton of damage. Primarily, you're going to want to have this weapon when you're fighting bosses and when you're doing, like, you know, badasses or anything like that. You want to make sure you have this either in Corrosive or Shock in case you're dealing with someone with a high amount of shields or corrosive if you would just want to get rid of all the yellow bar really really fast this weapon will have you shredding through the armor really really quickly so definitely consider taking this one into the battlefield the next weapon i want to recommend is the brainstormer now the brainstormer is going to be the one you're going to be using for two things one is crowd control and number two is getting rid of shields now let's make this weapon really powerful is the fact that this weapon is going to knock the shields out really fast at the enemies but it's also able to chain other enemies around you. The more enemies that are around you, the more powerful this weapon gets. It's definitely something you want to go ahead and pick. And this weapon's actually pretty good 
on shields, on armor, and on red bars or flesh because it's it's really powerful. The more you chain, the more damage you're going to be picking up. Definitely would want to recommend you guys pick up yourself a Brainstormer. Once again, looking for an anointment that gives you any buff to cryo or any buff that gives you to weapon damage. The next weapon I want to recommend is the Supercharged Ever Blaster. Another really good weapon, guys. This weapon in particular, you're going to only use it for a couple things. Number one is when you're fighting a boss or when you're fighting a badass or anything that's really tanky and you need to knock down their shield or need to knock down their armor, the Ever Blaster is going to make your life super easy. Now, you will be going through a lot of amounts of ammo with this weapon, but trust me when I tell you guys the ammo is not going to be important. It's just going to save you so much time bringing down those shields, bringing down those armors just by chucking these uh, at them and bringing down their armor and their shields super duper fast and quick. Now, the last weapon I want to recommend is the Kypesworth. This is actually a really good SMG. If you guys haven't had a chance to play with this one, would really recommend you guys definitely play with this one. Uh, it's kind of like a Cutsman with fire faster fire rate, and it's actually pretty potent. It's not as like hard hitting as the Cutsman, but it's a really good weapon due to the fact that not only do you get a fast reload speed, but you also get a fast charge and you are able to kind of spam it more than the Cutsman. Want to recommend this one. Uh, would definitely recommend it in Cryo, also in Shock and Radiation, whichever variant of those you have. And we'll definitely pair this with a, an anointment that gives you weapon power and, uh, you know, either action skill ends or gives you buff to cryo damage. Now, the main elements you want to be shooting for for weapons, of course, you want to go cryo, radiation, and shock. But cryo is going to be very effective for this particular DLC. Now, let's hop on and take a look at the gear. Now, for gear concern, any shield would be best. But I want to recommend the Transformer. reason why I want to recommend the Transformer is because you could never go wrong with the Transformer. Transformer is actually a very powerful uh, kind of, you know, it's kind of like everybody's main go-to uh, shield due to the fact that it makes you super tanky and you're able to restore your health whenever you get shock damage. So it's just a really good, you know, pretty good shield in general. But the main thing you want to go here is for anointments that give you buff to a specific uh, kind of element. So, for example, this one's on action skill and the next magazine will have an additional bonus of corrosive. Now, you want to have corrosive on this one. Because the next one we want to go with is uh, Cryo. And we want to make sure we have those two pairs because those do two stack up. Now, if you have multiple of the same, so let's say you have a shield that's Cryo and a grenade that's Cryo, that doesn't work. It only works if there is, uh, you know, one Corrosive, one Cryo. So keep that in mind. But Corrosive is going to be very fundamental. And this is just by far really good shield on any character. The next thing I want to recommend, of course, is a grenade. And we're going with the Recurring Hex. This one comes with cryo damage, works extremely well, will help you freeze a ton of enemies super duper fast and also help you with those shields and that armor. And you're looking for the uh, damage on action skill and the next magazine will give you 50% of bonus cryo damage. Now, if for some reason you guys feel that you're not going to be getting rid of your action skill and like, for example, I play Sane a lot and I'm, I always have my Sentinel up, I'm going to look for something that gives me a bonus uh, because this is not going to be helping me out of much because my action skill is going to end. And since my action skill hardly ever ends, I'm not going to be benefiting from this one. So what you want to look for here is something like you could either go while terrified, gain extra weapon damage. And maybe proc the terrified with a melee weapon or with a, uh, you know, with anything else that you could proc the uh, terror. And have something that gives me a buff to that specific or anything that buffs like either my sentinel or my barrier. That's what I would go with. Just, just pri primarily particular when it comes to Sane. Because I do have my Sentinel up very frequently. But still, even though that's the case, I could still use it because my barrier does go down quite often if I'm not proccing those crit hits. So it's still a relatively good combo. Now, I didn't want to go into the shield and the artifact due to the fact that that's going to be all dependent on the character you're currently running. But for the artifact in general, you want to make sure something that bon it gives you a bonus when you freeze an enemy because we are going to be rocking a lot of cryo. And trust me, for those of you who might saying, but I don't think cryo is going to be so effective. Trust me, guys, it's going to help you out a lot. It's definitely the best element to use for the brand new Moxie DLC. And there you guys have it. Those are the best weapon and gear you could get for the new DLC. Let me know if you guys are excited. If you are picking it up on what system are you picking it up? Xbox, PlayStation 4 or PC? 
drop it down below in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next video.